this piece of software makes AI one click easy to install and run and then manage and keep tabs of. Pinocchio lets you install and control any AI engine with one click. No more pip install, no more conde install, no more git clone. And I am just a super fan. You might remember the username Cocktail Peanut, Gavin. Of course, how could I forget? But it's still the best username. I am such a fan of Cocktail Peanut. They have made a, a program called Pinocchio, P-I-N-O-K-I-O. -O. You can get it at Pinocchio.computer. And when you go there, you can download uh, an Intel uh, Windows-based version of it. Of course, you can also grab the Mac OS version of it if you have an M1, 2, or 3 chip. And what this does, Gavin, is allows you to discover some of the latest AI repositories. You can discover them, you can install them, and you can run them with basic clicking and it will take care of all the work for you. It will download. Oh, wow. Most... This has a lot more than last time I tons, learned now. There's tons, so Gavin. much more. Oh, that's yes. so cool. Like magic animates on here, which we talked about in the show. Like yes. uh, face, face fusion is on here. Is that what it is? Is that one on yep. here? Yeah, face fusion. fusion this is, is great. in there. Dream yeah. talk just came out. Invoke AI is a pretty new thing for professional creatives. That's out now. Those are just the ones that Cocktail Peanut is making. If you scroll down, you can see the latest stuff that's been uploaded by the community and there are others contributing. Yeah. Yeah. to it so basically download and run the pinocchio app first it will install all the frequently used programs such as python pip git node.js cmake and so on you will click install it's going to grab the most optimized version of the program for you it can keep it up to date it can download any dependencies it stores them all in a nice folder structure so if you download something that could be like 20 30 gigs in file size because sometimes these ai models are massive you can one click delete it and it's gone and you don't That's have amazing. files scattered all over your computer. So I went on a tear, Gavin, and I put this new M2 Max that I have. <laughs> I saw, I know, paces. there's a lot of lot of pictures coming via I'm text sorry, to me. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you you have just, uh, you're my Guy Fieri in this case. I, I am, I, I know, I saw paces. that. There was an app called Lavi, L-A-V-I-E, that lets you do basic text to video. So I rendered Elon Musk as a baby. I rendered uh, Elon Musk and Guy Fieri having an intimate conversation. I, I rendered that. Guy Fieri eating various foods and dancing around around in states of undress and it was just fun but the thing is it was free and it was running locally and easily um there's a new app called focus f-o-o-o-c-u-s and it basically focus, is trying to focus turn... that's focus is, is that how they focus. say that because okay. focus yes so, so I, I loaded up the focus and yeah. uh that's what focus does is tries to make stable diffusion xl feel like mid journey. So if you're trying to okay. generate gorgeous AI art, you can do it really easily with basic sentences, just like you can with mid journey, but it applies it to stable diffusion. So you're running it local and for free. I'm going to send you a photo of just an influencer that I made. And then <laughs> wow. uh, I'm just, yeah, right. I said nothing about time of day. I said nothing about the lighting. I said nothing about the hair or the apparel. It just focus, just used focused. the right models. Focus, use the right models to make things happen. <laughs> But then I did, I posted to X a mashup because it has various plugins where you can combine multiple images. So I took you and various gremlins or mogwai and I mashed you up. But I also sent you an image, Gavin, of what it would look like if you and I mated. And oh no. It should be that first photo. It is like a dead oh, in the that's eyes. No. It kind of has your... <laughs> that's you and I if we mated? That's you oh and my I God. if we mated. Yeah. Yeah, so we got to get working on that. We got to have AI solve that because our child wow. is beautiful and, and LinkedIn yeah. ready with that headshot. And lastly, I use DreamTalk to make you speak Mandarin. DreamTalk is an app that you can feed it a 2D still and feed it any audio that you want. And much like uh, HeyGen or DID or these other tools, um, it will move the person around even though they were a static image. They'll blink, uh, their mouth will move. It is not production ready. It is I would say it's not great. Yeah, it's not it's amazing. Not but it's no, cool it, to experiment with. It's fun, right? Yeah. Totally. Here's the thing. It was free. It was yep. basically two clicks, one to download and one to install. So I have no complaints whatsoever. So if you do get it, play around with it, install all the things. The most fun I had, which I'm going to save for next week, was an app called Deus. D-E-U-S, okay. and it is a real-time creation engine. And here's the teaser for next week. You can copy and paste, you can click and drag images, and you can sort of kit bash your way. The same way you see Beeple making art by taking sure. pieces of existing things and brushing it up, you can just drag and drop clip art or elements or even rudimentary shapes into a canvas with layers and then tell it the picture you're trying to make. And it wow. instantly is updating 
and making new AI art out of it. It's called Deus. I will show it next week, but if you get a chance to play with it, again, Pinocchio.computer, a great tool that makes the latest AI apps free and easy to install and manage.